Hi guys and welcome to TechBased. In this video, I'm going to show you how to enable every new hidden feature in Windows 11 22H2 so that you don't have to wait until the October update. In this video, we're going to talk about four different hidden features. I think there are more hidden features, but these new features are the most significant and the most important. In this video, I'm going to show you how to enable suggested actions, how to enable the new taskbar overflow, the new open with menu, and also I'm going to remind you how to enable the tabs in File Explorer. Basically, I'm just going to show you all the commands that you need to use in order to enable all these new hidden features. So if you enjoy videos like these where I show you how to enable different hidden features in Windows 11, don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the tech base channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. So let's begin with the video. First of all, I want to give a shout out to Phantom Ocean 3 on Twitter. He made the list of hidden features that can be enabled in Windows 11 22H2. So go ahead and check out his Twitter because you'll find useful information there about Windows 11. So first of all, to enable these hidden features, you will need to download Vive Tool. I'm going to remind everyone, Vive Tool is a tool that lets you enable different hidden features in Windows 11. So you're going to have this download link in the article below in the description, and then you can download the latest version. That's it. Once you have the archive downloaded, you need to right click on it and then click on Extract All, and then click on Browse and locate the System32 location. That would be this PC, Local Disk C, Windows, and then scroll down to System32. Select it, click on Select Folder, and then click on Extract. In my case, I'm going to have to replace the files in the destination because I already did this. Click on continue a few times and then you should be good to go. The files from ViveTool should be extracted successfully in the System32 location. After that, you can delete ViveTool from the desktop if you no longer need it. Now let's start enabling hidden features. We're going to need to open up the CMD as administrator, type in the search box CMD and then click on run as administrator and on user account control, click on yes. The first feature that I've said we're going to enable is the new suggested actions that I'm going to show you in a few seconds what it does if you don't know you're gonna have to paste in cmd the following command five tools slash enable slash ad three four five nine two three zero three press enter you should receive the following message successfully set feature configuration now i'm just gonna enable all the other hidden features and at the end of the video i'm gonna show you each and every one how it looks how it works and stuff like that so that i don't have to show you a lot of different commands in the video just copy and paste all these commands that i'm gonna show you in this part and then you're gonna have all the hidden features in windows 11 22 h2 don't forget that all the commands that I use in this video will be also in the article below in the description, the first link. The next command will be this one. This will enable the new taskbar overflow in Windows 11. Vive tool slash enable slash id 35620393. Press enter. Again, you should receive the message successfully set feature configuration. Now, next up, we're going to enable the new open with menu. Just need to copy and paste this command. Vive tool slash enable slash id 36302090. Press enter. Again, successfully set feature configuration. For the new tabs in File Explorer and also the new navigation pane, you're going to have to paste in three different commands, which are these ones. I'm not going to read them out again, just paste and just copy and paste them. Of course, you're going to have them in the article below well categorized so you know which commands to run to enable a certain feature. And also another bonus, you can enable something hidden from the dev channel, which is the new show the touch keyboard drop down menu settings in time language and typing and touch keyboard. So for that, you're going to have to paste in two different commands and I'm going to paste them right here. Now, after we enabled all of these commands, we can exit out from the CMD and we're going to have to restart our system for the changes to take effect. Now, after the restart, I'm going to show you all the hidden features that we've just enabled. Now, after the restart, we have all the new features enabled. So let me show you all the features. First of all, let me show you the suggested actions. So for that, we're going to have to open Notepad. And basically, suggested actions is a suggestion that appears when you copy a date or a phone number. So for example, I'm going to type here a dummy phone number and then I'm going to copy it. Right after I copy it, this new suggestion will come up. You'll be able to call the number using phone link or you're going to have here clipboard settings and stuff like that. And this should also work for dates. Here I'm in a virtual machine and uh, things could be a little buggy. Of course, these are hidden features. Maybe they're not polished 100%. So you need to be aware of that. Of course, in the article below, you're going to have commands that you can use in order to disable all of these new hidden features. And basically for the date as well, you should receive a few options to create events, to go into Outlook, Calendar and so on. Now let me show you the new taskbar overflow, I increased the scaling so that you can see. Basically, whenever the taskbar gets full of icons, you'll have this new taskbar overflow with a limitation here and also a menu up here that you can open up. Again, this is a little bit bugged in the version that I'm currently using in Windows 11 22H2, which is the 0.521. As you can see, this taskbar overflow should normally appear up here, but it appears here. It's a little bit bugged, especially when you increase the scaling, but in the final version from October, it should be okay. As I've said, this video is only 
only for testing purposes so that you can test new features to see how they look and if you enjoy them of course earlier before them being officially enabled in Windows 11. Now let me show you the new open with menu. I'm going to right click on a file and then click on open with and then click on choose other another app and this is the new open with menu from Windows 11 22H2. If you didn't know it, it looks really good. It has the Windows 11 experience, the mica effect, so one browse apps in the Microsoft Store, choose an app on your PC always just once, basically everything that is good. Default apps, suggested apps, more options, so you can just play with it and see if you like it. Of course, we have the new navigation pane and the tabs in the file explorer, which I showed you in a different video from before. The tabs are pretty good. I think they are pretty responsive, of course. Performance could be improved even further, but I think everything is pretty, pretty good. And we finally have the new tabs in the file explorer. And also let me show you the new options from settings. So basically you can find it in time and language, then typing and then touch keyboard. And you're going to have here near show the touch keyboard, some different options, never with no keyboard attached and always. Basically, this is how you can enable all the new hidden features in Windows 11 22H2 earlier because they will be officially released in the first moment update from October. Yet again, a big thanks to Phantom Ocean from Twitter for putting this list together. Go ahead and check out his Twitter for useful information about Windows 11 22H2. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TechBase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. I was Emmanuel from TechBase. Until next time, have a nice day.